One of the biggest challenges that we find in teaching butterfly is where to put the breath. A lot of times a misplaced breath in butterfly will lead to the athlete losing their hips. So we have a drill at Ohio State that we call late breathing drill. It's a drill I've known for probably about 20 years and, and maybe one of my, my favorite drills as it relates to butterfly. We teach it on land first and it's a great drill for rhythm as well and then we'll transfer it into the water. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll have Shannon stand with some great tempo or great uh, posture, excuse me. And she's just simply gonna pin her elbows next to her body and she's gonna bring her hands up to her shoulders with her elbows at her side. So we're gonna go up and then we're gonna come down. Each time we move the hands, we're gonna add a kick to that. So as the hands come up, we're gonna have a kick, kick. As we bring the hands down, we're gonna have another kick and kick. And we'll do it again. Kick, 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 kick. Every time that the hands come down, we're gonna add another movement to that and that's gonna be a breath. Every time that the hands come down when we go into the water, we want the athlete to breathe. This breath is gonna occur in what we call the power zone or the power phase of the stroke. We consider the area from about the armpits down to the belly button to be the power phase of the stroke. We mimic that with this drill. It does have a shortcoming and that is that we've got the elbows at the side, which is a position we don't wanna get into in any of the four strokes, a dropped el elbow position. We wanna keep the armpits open as much as possible. Because this is a timing drill, we're gonna, use, we're gonna keep the elbows down for the benefit of this drill. So again, we'll start with the hands at the side, come up, kick, breath, kick, breath, kick, breath. All right, we're gonna put it in action in the water now. As Coach Wadley said, in every cycle of butterfly, we have two kicks. Those kicks happen first in the power zone. The second kick happens out front when the hand, hands enter the water, kick, 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 kick. Ideally, we want both of those kick, kicks to be somewhat even in their intensity. Most times we'll see this kick in the power zone tends to be a little bit stronger or a little bit more dominant than the second kick when the hands enter out front. Those are the only two spots though where we wanna have those kicks. What we're gonna do now is take our late breathing drill from on land, put it into the water, and one of the things we're gonna focus on is the tempo or the cadence of the stroke. All right, here we go. Kick, 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 kick. Breath, kick, breath, kick, breath, kick, 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 kick. You can see that Shannon does this drill pretty flat. We look at her hips, you don't have a whole lot of up and down movement. When she takes her breath, we want her to simply land in the water, place her face in the water. Another coaching point would be the fact that we're only gonna get a bite of air. Each time the head comes up, we get a small bite of air. As Coach Wadley said with Tim's butterfly, she does an awesome job of keeping her head in line and her, her eyes focused on the bottom of the pool. She barely has enough time to get that small bite of air and then keep going. 